Okay, so today I'll be doing my first attempt at uh, connecting my prototype packs to my Nissan Leaf. So, uh, as I explained in my previous video, um, these are 96 cell pairs in series, the two packs together. Currently I have this monitor running, uh, but it's only monitoring six of these pairs. But it, it'll ring and an alarm will sound if um, I go below three volts. So, uh, well, my first... Um, failure in this attempt was I'm, I wanted to connect this um, watt meter uh, to monitor the current draw so that I could see what was the maximum current being drawn from uh, from this pack while I drive but uh, I was uh, too in a hurry and when I connected these two terminals uh, I didn't think that uh, actually it's important that I connect these to the correct one because this one um, Although the negative was supposed to flow through the, the meter, the positive was only supposed to be taking it from this lead, from only uh, the six cells. So uh, by connecting it to the wrong pack, it, I sent too much voltage to this meter and I, I blew it. So uh, I'm going to proceed with the test anyways, but um, unfortunately I won't be able to know what's the maximum current draw. So I'll have to figure something else out to, uh, to monitor that. Right now it's disconnected. Um, I won't be using it for the first test. So uh, currently I'm connected to the packs and now that with my two relays I'm uh, only using these in uh, connecting this in parallel so I have 198 volts. I'll uh, drop my camera here. Once I connect the 12 volt power supply here I get 197 volts. Now, I did a check uh, the other day. Let's um, the car's on right now. So uh, once I connected these, the power was now live on my uh, interconnect cable. So let's see what do I have here in the car. So 196. So that's uh, pretty close, it's uh, one volt off. Um, that should be good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll disconnect this. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go get my clip-on meter and I'm gonna connect it to one of the sleaze leads. That way I'll be able to know, um, because there's one volt difference, I don't think it should be much of a draw when I connect it, but uh, we'll see. So here's my uh, clip-on amp meter. I'll put it here. Okay, so the car is on. Now this is running on the right voltage. Now let's connect this. Hopefully, I won't get a spark. Sorry about that. I need the camera to fall. Okay, here we go. That way we can read the amp meter. Let's see if there's a spike. Well, I got no current going through. So is that because my cells are perfectly balanced? The two packs are perfectly balanced? Maybe if I bring the scale down. So there is a little this is zero now when I connect it. I have 0.2 amps. So that's not too bad. So now let's go for a little drive. Uh, I'll leave this camera here like this. That way I can monitor what's uh, how much current is being drawn. I just thought of something. If I put this here also. I'll be able to see in the video how much current I'm currently drawing. So right now it's at uh, two amp being drawn, just the car being on. And so as long as this doesn't move around too much, yeah, it should be good. I'll be able to see how much the car is actually drawing and how much I'm actually drawing from my prototype pack. Let's go for right.
All right, so that concludes my test. So I did a little bit of acceleration bursts, but not much. Um, so now I'll be, I'll just disconnect this. There we go. So now, all right. So that's it for now. I'll test it again later.